Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, or THG, and today we're going to go and find another abandoned pond. And this is just going to be a day hike though, but it shouldn't be that long of a journey, but the trail that we're going to take um, is not used anymore, and so we got a lot of blowdowns to get over. So come along, this should be fun. Let's go. So, I should mention, this is not the trail that I originally set out to do, or I should say, the pond I originally set out to find. This one's a little easier. The one I originally set out to find was a four and a half mile trek both ways. But, too cold to do that. So that's why we're doing this one. And also, this means if I find this one, I never have to go on Frank Grub Bridge again. <laughs> this is not fun. I believe this will be uh, number 18. I'm very excited. Let's go. See, this trail lures you in to a sense of, oh, this is nice. It's wide, it's cleared, but at some point, <laughs> you reach a point where it's American Ninja Warrior style. But that's okay, because it's a beautiful day to be outside. Absolutely gorgeous. A little cold, a little windy, but we ain't no sissies. Okay, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It's starting to get tricky here. It's worse. It's worse a lot as the farther I go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh man, I actually just ran into a backpacker. I did not think anyone traveled this one anymore for this reason. Dear Lord. No good way through. <gasps> All right. Let's see what we got up here. <laughs> Desperate need of a chainsaw. So I have to take a trip around it. Playing about all that. Okay, I'm about a mile in now. And probably another half mile to the pond. Like I said, this one's short. But um, got through all those blowdowns, but man, that was crazy. I had to walk halfway down a hill to get around it. I know there's a few more coming, but they're not as bad. Take a little break here. Good times. I enjoy it. No place I'd rather be. Okay, enough blabbering. Let's go. All right, so the pond that we're going to is obviously this way. The other one that I found in off of this trail, I kept going that way. This one is like 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 up here. I think it's over on this next uh, ridge, but you can see that this is a 
of well-worn trails. So this used to be a forest road or homestead road. So good. I'm glad of that. I'm glad that I, mean, I don't have to necessarily bushwhack through all kinds of brambles to get to this one because this trail leads right to it. I would still consider it abandoned though because not a lot of people come out here. Says the guy who just saw one on someone out here. <laughs> Thank you, Plane, for ruining my shot. Appreciate you. Okay, according to my Gaia, we are almost there. So I thought I'd make it climactic and show you how awesome a pond I found. <laughs> it's probably not going to be that way at all. But that's okay. Yeah. I can see the uh, berm of it. Are you guys excited yet? Of course, I have to go through a bunch of the brambles I was glad I didn't have to go through. <laughs> All right, Pond, where are you? Stay with me here, folks. We're almost there. You get to see it same time I see it. There it is. Oh, it's a cute little pond. At least it has water in it. Oh, <laughs> it's a little baby pond. Okay, officially, that is my 18th pond I have found. Very cool. I'm going to go around the other side, see if I can sit on a log to have lunch, and then I'll take some more shots in a little bit. Okay, I'm on the back side of the pond. You can see where it's built up right there like a berm. You can also see piles of dirt here. So this was a created one by CCC. I don't think this was a homestead one. Um, found a log here. I'm going to have lunch. Well, kind of like breakfast. So I'm having the sausage and biscuits and egg, or sausage biscuit from Peak Refuel. I've never had that one. And then we'll go up there and take some shots. We'll head back. It was exactly a mile and a half. This is going to be a three mile day today. Now we're either going to have runny biscuits or hard as heck. So it's still a little too cold for the fuel. So I'm going to put this hot hands in there to warm it up in this little thing here. And we should get ready to get started here in just a second. Okay, we finally got it warmed up enough to go. So now we just got to wait on our water. Little technical difficulty, but we got through it. All right, now we're talking. All right, so I've got about 10 minutes for that to cook. And during those 10 minutes, I will go up here to the pond. Ouch. And we'll have another look. I don't die first. We'll have another look at pond number 18. What an accomplishment. I tell you what, these ponds look so different in different seasons. Like, you know, when it was hot out, there would be teeming with tadpoles and them nasty frog eggs. And um, now they're just frozen over. Leaves sliding across the ice. Pretty cool.
I'll tell you what, weather-wise, too, it turned out to be nice. I think it's like 37 degrees now. So, we got about another hour before it gets cloudy. And so I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to leave. Successful trip, man. Quiet out here, too. Except for my blabbering. I love it. Okay, let's see if this thing is soup. No, I think I did all right. It looks like it might be a little watery, but it's not awful. Okay. It's still got some, still got some heft to it. Awesome. I was worried about that, but I forgot to break the big biscuit up. I've been told that you're supposed to do that. All right, I'm gonna eat this. I'm not gonna subject you guys to that. And then I'm going to pack up, and when I'm ready to leave, I'll come back. Thanks. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. And nice little short trip, mile and a half out, mile and a half back. But pond number 18, thank you for coming along. I might film some stuff on the way out, but just in case I don't, and this is the end of it, I appreciate you watching. I know that these can get boring, but I have a good time doing them, and that's all that matters. Hey, listen. If you could do me a favor and subscribe, I'm close to 5K. I'm going to do a giveaway when I when I get to 5K, and it's going to be a good one. So if you are interested in that, give me a subscribe, give me a like on this, and um, thanks for coming along. Yeah, thanks for. We'll see you later. Peace.